And once again, we're coming at you live from deep in the heart of Silicon Valley, California. We're talking technology, philosophy, the future. Not necessarily those and not necessarily in that order. If you're watching on YouTube, smack that subscribe button and hit that bell so you can be notified when a new show comes online. And if you're listening on your favorite podcast service, please subscribe and please drop a note on Apple Podcasts. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Now, <laughs> the other day, I thought this was really funny. So... If you've been watching my show for a while, listening to my show for a while, you know that I'm all about pro proactivity. That out there, there are, what, thousands of virtual assistants? You've got Alexa, you've got Siri, you've got uh, Google, you've got Meta, you've got thousands, the Copilot, you've got thousands of AI virtual assistants out there. Thousands of them. And they all share one thing. Open AI. <laughs> They all share one thing. They're all reactive. They all require you to ask them to do something, right? They won't do something for you, except for maybe a few things. Maybe Alexa will do notifications or Google will do notifications. So they call them notifications because they'll just do notifications. But they won't be proactive. They won't, I mean, they already watch everything that you do. They already know everything that you are doing. Like Scott McNeely said, privacy is dead. Get over it. All of these AI assistants, we've already given up our data to these things. These assistants know exactly what we're doing right now. And in fact, my AI assistant right now probably is listening to me and going, hey, sounds like he's doing a podcast. So these assistants know what we're doing. They know it. They know it, and you can be unhappy about it, or you can be happy about it, or you can just take it in stride, you can do whatever you want. But this is the case. So, the other day, it was reported that ChatGPT, the voice assistant for ChatGPT, suddenly started talking. Suddenly started talking without any prompts. It was being proactive. And all of a sudden, everybody freaked out. They're like, oh my God, that's it. It's the end. Terminator. AI. They're taking over. They're starting to talk. Oh my God. And, I, and then they called it a bug. They said it was a bug. So I thought to myself, that's not a bug. That's a good thing. We want our AI, at least I want our AI to be proactive. I want my AI to help me without having to be asked. Because that's what assistants do, right? I mean, think about a human assistant. If you had a really, really good human assistant, they wouldn't just sit there like a lump doing nothing until you ask them to do something. They would proactively go ahead and do something. So that's what our AI assistants should be doing for us as well. If they're going to be true, good assistants to us, then they should proactively be doing things for us, talking to us, ahead of the game. Now, sure, I mean, there's some situations where you don't want your AI just intruding upon the conversation. And in fact, right now, for example, is a good example, because I'm recording this podcast right now. I'm recording this podcast live. And any one of my AI assistants could probably just barge in with a question or something like that. Or maybe it'll assume that I'm asking a question. So it's going to barge in with a question in the middle of my podcast. Just like in my last podcast, there was a bing bong from some appointment I might have. Who knows? But we need them to be a little smarter than that. Maybe they, they need situational awareness. They need to be able to know when we shouldn't be disturbed. I mean, right now, my phone says, hey, you're about to do, you're about to go into a meeting. Do you want me to turn on do not disturb? Yes, just do it. You don't need me to tell you to do it. You know I'm going into a meeting. You know I don't want my phone to ring. So just go into Do Not Disturb already. Why ask me? Or if you're going to ask me, then say something like, hey, do you want to go into Do Not Disturb? And it'll ask me yes or yes in future in that every time I'm about to get into a meeting, remember that because you're a machine. You can remember things better than I can. Remember that I want to go into Do Not Disturb every single time. 
How difficult is that? We can do that today. But for some reason, we're still freaked out about proactive AI. And I think we need to get over it. If we really want to have powerful AI assistants and co-pilots to help us through our lives and be better humans, we need proactive AI assistance. And we need to stop freaking out when they are proactive. That's it for me for today. See you next time. And until then, don't forget to think future. Pixels and philosophies merge and mold a future untold, unseen.